Okay guys, so in today's video I'm going to start off by power washing this chassis to see what's going on underneath the dirt and then we'll take it from there. So before I start with today's work, I'm going to clean up my whiteboard and start with a new list of everything that I think is going to have to be done on this car. Um, I prefer drawing a picture and making a list around that. It's just so that I can have perspective of everything that needs to be done and also I enjoy indulging in my artistic side. It's magnificent! Oh my gosh, it is beautiful! Okay, so there's my list. Like I said, it might seem like I write in code to some people, but I'm not an academic. But at least I know what I wrote down there. And the list is not so... Hey, what the... The list is not so long, it seems. I probably will be adding some more things to the list but uh, as it stands now I think this is going to be a nice quick clean project to finish off and I'm looking forward to it so let's start let's continue Okay, so I've cleaned up the chassis now to a point where I can um, remove the differential and fuel cell, exhaust and the engine gearbox and radiator and also the suspension parts and then the chassis should be stripped down completely so that I can cl clean it up one last time and just sand it down a little bit and give it a nice coat of black paint. Hmm. Not doing a full restoration. Famous last words. Tell me guys, what would you say, what would you consider or regard as, what, what is a full restoration or a bolt and nut restoration as I'd like to call it? Do you need to remove every single bolt and nut on a car and replace it with new ones or can you salvage it? Um, do you need to make a vehicle as 
good as new and if so do I need to open the engine and gearbox even if there's nothing wrong with it and um, if you work on panels the, the body do you need to replace panels or can you fix them up and if you fix them up then it's not as good as new is it so what would you guys consider to be the definition of a fully restored vehicle any guys I'm gonna continue by sanding down this chassis and giving it some primer and some black paint and then I continue can continue with um, suspension and so on Sure. Okay, that took some doing. Um, I finished up with uh, the basic sanding down of the chassis. Um, I'm just going to show you that there are still some parts that I did not reach with my flapper desk, like the insides and so on of the chassis. But I'm not so concerned about that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this deoxidine or de raster and um, I'm just going to paint it on to the chassis now to uh, basically get rid of the last pieces of rust on this chassis because it's all just very superficial and uh, then I'm going to wash the chassis down again one last time with some um, degreaser and rinse it off and then I can paint it. There's just one thing that I noticed whilst I was grinding um, here the chassis got a crack in it yeah because uh, that's where the front suspension bolts on so I just quickly gonna weld this um, up again so it can be nice and strong before I paint this chassis so you mix this stuff 50-50 it's water based Okay, so now that I've got the chassis all prepped for paint, I can spend some time with the rear differential and the front suspension and steering axle. Um, I'm going to strip it down a little bit more, get rid of these brake levers and so on. Um, but I'm not going to strip it down completely. And also, I'm not going to be spending too much time. Also, I'm not going to be spending too much time on the drums now because I will be removing them to service the wheel bearings and then I can get them nice and true on my lath and sand them down and paint them properly. So I got most of the parts sanded down and ready for paint. Um, I'm going to be painting everything with a black 2K or two part paint gloss um, just because it's a bit stronger and tougher. 
So yes, let's see how this goes. Alrighty, so I got the chassis and suspension parts painted. I'm letting it dry out in the sun. Uh, do keep in mind that the drums, I will be removing them and um, sanding them down properly and painting them uh, when I do the wheel bearings and so on. But yeah, now I can leave everything to dry out and um, then we can start with assembly. Okay guys, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video, um, on the next one I'm going to start reassembling everything and do some more prep and painting on, on uh, the rest of the chassis parts and see if we can get this thing rolling so that we can put the body back and start with that. Cheers!